Hello, nature people. Look what we found at our last Pantanal trip. The incredible yellow anaconda. This kind of boa is endemic to South America and it's a bit smaller than the green anaconda. This big snake is found from the drainage of the Paraguay River and its tributaries south to the Pantanal region in Bolivia, Paraguay and western Brazil to northeastern Argentina. Individuals are solitary until the mating season, which normally occurs during the rainy season. Typically, females leave pheromone trails for males to follow. Often, many males find the same female and wrap around her to copulate with her. Such a breeding ball of up to 12 males can stay in this position for two to four weeks. This female here was seen copulating with two much smaller males. Measuring around 4 meters long, she is now leaving her partners to prepare herself for a 6 month gestation period. A fun fact is that there are many records of male anacondas being devoured by the female after copulating. That's creepy. She will give birth to around 30 live young. Those have to grow fast to escape the many dangers in the area. Here in Pantanal, the main predators are the ocelot and the almighty jaguar. Unfortunately, TV movies often create erroneous reputations of man-eating anacondas. This produces quite negative consequences to green and yellow anaconda populations all over the ranges. I always say, it's easier to win the lottery than being attacked by an anaconda. I love the amazing sightings we had in our last tour. On site with the tree snakes there were around 25 tourists making the most of that chance with binoculars and cameras. Pantanal is for sure one of the best places in the world for wildlife watching. For information about nature and birding tours, send me an email. It's in the description of this video. Thank you.
right here. Oh my goodness. 